Good morning. So it is around 9 a.m. We are back at this little mall place near Wailea, I think it is. And we decided to get breakfast at Island Vintage Co. We were gonna go to Sweet Hula, but it's closed. So unfortunately, we're not gonna eat it until the next time we're here, because it's closed Sunday and Monday. So this is the Island Vintage Go uh, acai bowl. Off first glance, it's a little prettier with a little flower here. Um, there's less strawberries and less blueberries, but oh, a lot of granola not and <laughs> not a lot of acai, which is already questionable. Sweet hula is better. Alright, peace. You missed it because I think you were above water. I watched it dive back into its home. Yeah, That's probably the only reason why I know where it is. Because it's pretty hidden. It's so much fun. If you go closer to the rocks, the fishes are all there. Touch. So cool. <laughs> Just finished snorkeling. We're relaxing at the beach now. Enjoying. Look at our views. Enjoying no the our views. Perfect. Yeah, no one blocking our views. Just finished packing up and, and uh, clearing out of the beach. So you can see we're back in the inland, our car's right there. We stopped by at Coconut Fish Cafe in Maui, Honolulu, Hawaii. And uh, we're gonna get some delicious fish tacos. Uh, fish tacos arrived. Looking real good. So perfect. So we'll see if this is better or it's not better. So this is the number one fish taco rated somewhere, he said. So we found a picture of those dry. The toppings are really good, the mango is so dry, and everything works really well flavor wise. It looks good. I'm just going to part our sauce. You can tell it's a very windy day today, very cloudy. We actually lucked out so hard that I went to see the sunset yesterday on top of the volcano. And now we are back at Tamara's Fine Wine and Liquors. Anki leading the way. She really wants to get another taste of that delicious poke. So I'll uh, we'll show it to you when we get it. Okay, here in Chen. Got a little head start for us to come. Yeah. Enjoying the poke by the pool, and then we'll spend the rest of the day back here. So after uh, the little pokey at the pool, we uh, went back, showered, cleaned up, ch chilled at the Airbnb, rested up, watched some One Piece anime, did laundry. And now we're at the Hoko Pika lookout. So we found this cute little spot on the Hoko Pika beach. You can see the sunset here, beautiful crashing waves. In the distance there, you see a bunch of little surfers. We're gonna watch the sunset, but it sunk behind the clouds. But 
It's so very beautiful. We're having dinner at Mama's Fish House tonight. We just got our car valet parked and we are here an hour early, so we are gonna walk around, check out their little estate. Cool, so. I'm pick you along the way. Beautiful views, though it's a bit dark now. Little tiki fires, the restaurant's right there. All right, so from where we left off, we were walking around the estate and it seems they have, a, they have their own private beach here and then they have one of these. It's a turtle, by the way, if you can't see it, but it's a turtle. We just ordered, and we got some appetizers, which are free. So we get the mushroom soup, mini mushroom soup. Cremini mushroom bisque. Cremini mushroom bisque, two of them. And we get some whole wheat and butter bread. Coconut curry with fish, kampachi, macadamia, macadamia nut with, uh, with lobster, with and, lobster crab. and crab inside, and then I got a few little side things to add to my, uh, my dish. Yeah. 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 Final nightcap, they gifted us these little milky coconut dessert cubes. And because they're a little sticky, they gave us these little napkins to bro wait, they're dry. They're, they're dry. No no the point is no no it's moisted. The rest is dry. Oh so this is moisted, this is dry. I don't know why. Finally back home, showered, we're getting ready to leave tomorrow, checkout's at 11 a.m. And uh, I'm just gonna enjoy my one piece on this little TV right here, catch you in the morning. Rise and shine, it is 9 a.m. We just finished unpacking and unloading, time for checkout, got the place cleared out. TV's off, got the laundry running, bathroom all cleared out, making sure we got nothing left in here, you know, all good. No more goodies in the shower. Let me come over here to the living space. Cleared out, the table is all clean, couch reset. All right, so we have officially left Kale Kamioli or holy kamoli as we call it. So we're trying to do brunch before our, our big day and we're hiking. Uh, so we came to this spot that we originally had but weren't that interested in. But like I said, it's starting to get to the point where more tourists start here and look at the lineup. Starting there, all the way around to this spot. So we finally got a table after an hour of waiting at Nalu's and we got one Loco Moco to share. This is the iconic Loco Moco, which is a Hawaiian dish. Just finished our uh, Loco Moco and it was worth the wait. We are driving 
driving up to Waihi Ridge Trail right now. Unexpectedly, there's also a lot of switchbacks, and we did not expect to do this type of driving again today. So here we are at the start of the trail. At Waihi Ridge Trail. Waihi Ridge Trail, and you can see here, amazing views. I walked too far. The entrance is actually over here. So we just got through the hardest part of the hike. It was a very steep incline, paved path. Everyone online said it's the hardest part, but now we're at the unpaved path. One mile marker. Made it halfway. Views are pretty gorgeous right now. All right, we're two miles up. Can't say the view has changed much, but we want to get to the top, so made it to the top. Look at that. Last time we drove above the clouds, this time we hiked all the way to cloud level. Like I'm pretty sure those clouds, I'm above those clouds over there, there, those low ones. So we finally made it down, of, down the hike. 4.2 miles. 4.2 miles. You can see this insane incline, it's killing our knees. But we made it down. Next stop, Acai Bowl. So I finally got another acai bowl. It's got the classic strawberry, blueberry, banana, and granola. So I'm gonna look forward to enjoying this and then uh, see you when we get to the Iowa State Valley see Monument. That's good. Made it to the Iowa State Valley Monument. Lined with cars, lots of parking, but people took them all up. But look at the views. So we reached the stair portion of the hike. It was 137 steps. I think it's 130. I think he says 130. Cool. Wait, I'm gonna go back down and count and I'll let you know the answer later. Catch it. Got to the top. You just saw the views. I counted. It was actually 134 steps. So whoever wrote the sign down there was lying. Look at the clouds rolling over the mountains. Looks like I'm in Narnia. So we just went to the little pool in the stream. It's like a stream of water it's a river. with rocks. And then because of the way the rocks are cascading, there's little pools of water where people are swimming and all people bring their babies there. Baptize them. And it's really cool. If we ever come back, I definitely want to come here, bring a bathing suit. And I was say bring a baby. <laughs> Just ordered our Manuela Mas Malasadas donuts. So we got three. We got a cinnamon plain, powdered sugar with the ube cheesecake, and then we got Lee Hing with the lily coir. This is the ube cheesecake and lily with the lily name. There's a whole bunch of ants that went onto our lid. This food's good. <laughs> so we are now in Paya. We're gonna walk around, check out some local shops, and uh, get the Paya fish market once it gets dark and we get hungry enough. So.
we're back at Pius Fish Market again. Got the blackened mahi mahi, guava jaritos, butter sauce, and anki. So we just devoured our food, and we come to a consensus. We want another more food. And also, Pia Fish Market is the best restaurant we've had this trip. I definitely recommend getting the blackened mahi mahi with the half rice, half potatoes. Delicious. And then get, get the tartar sauce and then a guava jaritos. Definitely recommend eating this place. Ube and the banana magna toffee crunch with fresh mochi and she gave us some extra. I'm trying the ice cream now. Ube. Mm. Let's try the banana stuff. That's good. Let's try the mochi. I'm so sad about mochi. I dropped the mochi earlier. I was so sad. I'm a little glad we went for this. Well, we're gonna enjoy our ice cream and uh, catch you later. Super long lineup for Safeway Fuel. Cheapest fuel on Maui. So we've been getting cheap fuel. All right. Look to either side. So. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> 18 pumps. They're all double-sided. Maui Innovation. Time to get back in the car and drive to the airport. See you at the airport. Time to return this car. It's been our baby for the past week. All right, we are dropping off our car. This is uh, saying goodbye. Brush the teeth, changed, full outfit changed. So that's the trip over. See you on the next one.